Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Malone Airflow 2 roof rack on our 2020 GMC Terrain. So currently we do have the 50 inch bars up on our roof right now, but we can also fit a 58 inch bar as well if we wanted to maybe get a little bit more bar length for some of those T-Track accessories that we can put on here. Definitely go there on our website and just make sure and pick the one that you think is going to be right for you. So as of right now, with the 50 inch bars and the 58, they're both gonna be made of aluminum, so they're gonna naturally just resist against that rust and corrosion over time. But as you can tell, the shape of these things, so it kinda looks like a plane wing. So as the air travels over it, it's gonna just eliminate some of that drag that you get whenever you're going down the highway at high speeds, and also some of that wind noise that you get. One thing that you can kind of notice is the T-Track and the way it's set up, the rubber is just kind of just in there to help just with that wind noise, of course. But on that side, I'm gonna venture on over there. There is a cap on the foot. So if we wanted to put any T-Track accessory, you can just fold these down and then we can just feed those accessories in there without having to remove the cap. But the cap isn't really too difficult to get off. You just kind of just Wiggle it out like so. Well, that is definitely a nicer feature, just so you don't ha really have to do much, but just flip that down to put all your accessories. So there are gonna be a decent amount of cargo baskets that go up on top of there, cargo boxes that we can put up there, uh, kayak carriers, canoe carriers, bike racks, all sorts of stuff that we can put on here, whether it's just wrapping around or just going in that T-slot there. So looking down at the feet, we do have them that come with the locking cores, which is a plus in my opinion, just because some of the times you have to buy them separately. With this system, you really don't have to. Comes with a key as well. And what's nice about it is, ta-da, we have a little tool in there. So that's gonna be in on one side of the feet for each bar. So it's gonna be one tool per bar which is a plus for me because I always lose stuff. So this way we don't have to keep track of those tools. It just fits right in there and locks into place. It is pretty easy to strap these down and all you really need to do is you just use that tool just to tighten it down and it's just going to basically squeeze those factory bars. It does have some bumpers here too so you don't have to worry about it scratching anything or anything like that. Um, it is pretty easy to do, just obviously lefty-loosey, righty-tighty to get it undone. Pretty simple and quick to get it onto your roof, which is great just for whether you're using it constantly and then you decide you don't want to use it anymore, you can take it off pretty quickly. But, I mean, the way it looks, I wouldn't necessarily be mad at it just staying up here whenever we're going down the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some measurements for you guys from our sunroof here all the way to the bottom of our rail. It's gonna be about three and a quarter inches from our sunroof to the very top is gonna to be about four and a quarter inches. And it's gonna be about the same for the front as well. One thing that I was curious about is to see if these sunroofs are gonna open. So we're gonna go ahead and test that for you so you don't have to. I'm gonna get in here and I gotta start it up. All right, moment of truth. All right, so far so good. All right, so we don't have any issues clearing the bottom of our bar here. So if that was something you guys were somewhat concerned with, don't be. So after going over some of that stuff with you guys, let me just go ahead and show you guys how simple it is to install this onto your roof rack. All right, so not a whole lot we gotta do. Comes out of the box as you see it here. All we really need to do is just spread these out and we wanna make sure that the skinny part is gonna be facing towards the back of the vehicle. That's gonna allow the air to kinda of travel over real nice. So once we get that going, I already got the front on. Then you can go ahead and do your best to line it up and put those into place. It kind of just hugs around it like so. 
push her down. And then it wouldn't be a bad idea to get the measuring tape out and make sure they're nice and even on both sides. And if it is, then we can just go ahead and grab our key that'll come with our kit. A lot of times they don't come with the uh, locking cores. This does, which is nice. Yeah, loosen that up and pull that out. Tool is included with the kit and it actually comes in this little cap here, which is nice just because I always lose stuff. So this way we don't have to worry about putting it somewhere. And once we do that, stick it in that little groove and start tightening it down. It's gonna move this bar on that side kind of in and just kind of smashing the foot onto your factory rail. There's no specific torque setting, but just make sure, get it nice and tight. Give it a good wiggle and then head to the other side. The other side isn't going to have the tool. Only one of the feet for each of the bars is going to. So we're going to have to bring this over there and tighten that up. Well, everyone, that's just about it for a look at the Malone Airflow 2 roof rack on our 2020 GMC terrain.